if I were to draw, draw, draw a line from the, the bulb down, I'm missing, I'm exaggerating here, but I'm missing a little bit of the support. So I, I will support this with the shoe. It's exaggerated, but just to fill that, that, that area right here, okay? And I'm orienting the shoe not to the shear, okay? I'm orienting the shoe to the articulation. Basically, you do not, I don't want to put too much heel in the back, okay? She doesn't need that support. But also, I do not want to go that far back. That's too far back. So I go, I split the difference because she tends to wear the toe faster. So I give a little bit more toe length very lightly. And I give enough breakover so it's not stre stressing the foot. So I split the difference a little bit. She needs that support here. This is where the points are. So look where I set the shoe. I set the shoe to my articulation right here. My hand goes right in here. I know I can go a little further back because it's a low foot. That's why also I made the shoe very soft at the in the front. And that's basically what I and do. what are you doing now? I'm pressing down. So to make sure, to see again, you have to make sure you have a very even, uh, even rim of glue because if you don't, what's the point of trimming beautifully? Beautifully, you're actually offsetting your nice, nice trim, okay? So everything is in a little detail but it makes a big difference, especially for horses that do heavy shoes. 